gonna rock you hey. and I'm struggling struggling I don't wanna hear it's gonna get better I don't wanna hear it'll be okay I'm done wishing and hoping and holding on today in the place where And I do mean never. I'm angry. I'm sad. But above all that, I'm tired. In addition to that, I'm annoyed. I can't help but roll my eyes when I see non-blacks post things like, how could this happen? I'm so confused. What are you puzzled about when this country is doing exactly what it was built to do? It's in the fabric of our DNA. And if you haven't noticed, if in order for you to believe that we're murder, you need to see footage, you're part of the problem. You're fueling the system, and as much as you declare that you're not a racist, you're watering the plant so it can bloom with racism. And I don't want to hear this, I don't see color. No. No, I want you to see me. I want you to see me for the human being I am. Then and only then, maybe I could actually be free. In the so-called United States of America that's always been divided as hell because you have melanated kings and queens hunted down daily. And you have the beneficiaries of white supremacy telling you it's unacceptable to take a knee. Because this is the land of the free, the home of the brave. But let's not forget it also states that no refuge could save a slave. My grandpa, my papa, risked his life for this country. So, that makes him part of the brave, right? I wonder what he thinks when he looks down and sees the country he fought for, just sees his grandson as an elevated slave, armed with his brown skin, a threat upon sight. I know some of what I'm saying might make you cringe, but if you consider this cringeworthy content and it's making you uncomfortable, it's because deep down you know I'm right. And I don't have all the answers. To be honest, I'm kind of at a loss. Not at a loss for words, clearly. But a loss for tears, patience, energy, willpower. All in the fight to just prove our lives matter and for our voices to be heard. 